What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here. Welcome back to Farm Life. Alright guys, first things first, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been commenting on the last video. It really helped. Uh, we were all able to work together to figure out how to use a lot of the equipment because we were all having a hard time. So I just want to give a huge shout out to everyone in the comment sections of the last video for this episode. I mean, for this series, you guys are awesome. Please keep those comments coming. And so that anyone who missed it, I'm going to go over how to use the, um, mainly the cedar, because that's one of the hard ones to figure out, and then the waterer. They're both two things you need to learn, and there's no tutorial for them, so we had to work together as a community to figure it out, which was actually really cool. Uh, so anyone who doesn't know, because some people were having a hard time learning, even, even doing the detaching, you just crouch, and then you can detach. The plow's the easiest thing to use, drive up to it. Push the jump button, just tap it, and it will go down. Then you can plow the field like this. Next, if you, uh, what we have to do is not go to the cedar, we go to the water. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. We go to the water. Again, push A. Water it. Crouch. Over here to the cedar now. Do we have it? We don't. Yeah, now we got it. Now I believe I have seeds in it already, but I will show you just in case. Hang on, let's see if we can change this over to corn. Don't think any of them... This might be ready. Yes, we got some corn seed. Plant loaded. It should prop up just like that. Now we have our seed. And again, tap A and it, yep, it's planted. I'm using an Xbox controller, that's why I said tap A. I am on PC, but I use an Xbox controller. So once you figure it out, it's actually really, really, really easy to do what you want to do. So we'll be able to make a really cool farm here. So what I did was I've got strawberries growing in another part. The field is over there. I carved out a little section. I've got strawberries growing over there. And we'll have corn growing in here. I still need to explore the rest of the map, but first things first, while this is growing, a lot of people also ask how to harvest. This is the harvester. In the first episode, I used it to harvest some. 
But I'm gonna head actually back to town because somebody gave me a hint that there was loot in town. Yeah, that's the thing. I really love this map. I just really wish there were more tutorials because you can get you get quite lost uh, at first, and then you figure everything out. I still don't know what that other piece of equipment does. Pretty much know how to use everything else there, except for that one last piece of equipment that was in the same field there. Oh man, it's getting dark. Don't mind me, just, you know, need a place to sleep. Thanks for the hospitality. can actually defend ourselves. I'll take that money too. Thanks. You guys are awesome neighbors. Looks like they have some better tractors there too. I, bet, I, I, I think you can just work whatever farm you want. Okay, so hang on one sec. comments there so I was trying to figure out someone had told me to go back to the town and I think they said to check some of the buildings I just forget which one they had said oh, places oh man 
I didn't know that. There's places to sleep. I would have slept in here instead of having to go to that farm. Beds. There's a skeleton in here. Again, a bunch of beds, it looks like. Looks like most of this is just apartments. See if I see anything. Then we'll just move back. Yeah, it looks like that other farm had bigger tractors there that looked newer. Let's just head back then. I yeah. Let's just head back and then get back to work. Still have yet to try the plane out, and there's still more farms to check out as well. It looks like they're not so too different from one another, but seeing that that particular one had more equipment there, not to mention that's how we get on that way. This has a little, like, duck pond. Let's take a look at what we got. What I might do is, uh, if I find a better location, we might just move over there. That's definitely a better tractor than the one we got. Ooh, horses. Ace Trader. I think this one is primarily an animal farm. because I don't see any big fields, but they have a duck pond. It looks like they had goats. I think they got, they got uh, geese, yeah, geese too. Chickens <laughs> with a, a fox in the hen house. Holy moly, you monster. Be free, chickens! Oh, let's go inside to see if there's anything in there. 
Oh no, there's a crate in there. We head back to see how our crops are growing. Whoa! Must have been a creeper in here. I will say that some of these houses do get pretty dark. So if you are doing a playthrough on this with friends, make sure you watch out for that. Light up your house a bit. Okay, let's get out of here. First, let's go back in here. Oh, that's another thing we need to check out. Uh, the trees. We've got fruit trees that we can plant. So what do we got? Lemons and... Oh, is that supposed to be pomegranate? Check what's in here. Okay. Nothing I need right now. So it is good to go check out the other farms. We got a snake? See how our crops are doing. Oh wow. A black harvester. If I remember correctly, if I go this way, turn left, I should get back to the main road, go down, and we should be able to get back to our So there is fields for that one. I was just not looking at it right. Yep, because there's that big, huge mansion over there. Eventually, I'll do an episode exploring that. I'm just kind of happy now that we can't, we got everything somewhat figured out. And we've got a weapon to defend ourselves. That's a, that's a big plus. Okay, so let's look at all the land we've got and then we'll go from there. Some people said they were playing this on creative to stop the mobs, but I'm like, you don't have to play it on creative to stop the mobs, just play it on peaceful if you want to stop the uh, dangerous mobs from spawning. Okay, so we've got fields literally all over. And the thing is, if they get stuck behind a fence, they'll, they'll still be there. 
See, like that witch. That witch has been there for a long time. Because I think she's stuck behind the fence, so she won't despawn. Here I planted strawberries. I forget how many animals it added. It must have been a lot. So we've got grasshoppers, snakes, rats, sheep, goat. So far from what I've seen. So, what do we use this for? Doesn't work like normal playing does, unless I'm not doing it right. way of doing the plane. Now, is this an actual crop duster or is it just the, they just designed it as a crop duster so that it matches the farm theme? Because... I like the way it flies. It actually flies a little bit better than many of the other ones. I mean, it, it kind of somewhat hovers too, which is weird for a plane, but... <laughs> okay, so how many big fields do we have? We have one. We have that one over there that we're working on already. And that one over there. So that's one. Four. Alright. So, what I will do is we're going to finish this one off um, in strawberries after we finish uh, growing some. And then I'm going to go buy some more crops. We'll go play around with that because we don't, you don't need a lot of seeds. Just need a little bit because the cedar will actually never really run out. Once you put it in, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not. Alright, let's land this. Swinging my sword and damaging it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But that's that's probably what we're gonna do for now. I'm gonna probably end the episode here. And uh, this, I just wanted to make sure because everyone was so helpful. I'm like, you know what? If anyone else is having problems. I wanted to make a video so that we could get directly to the point and show them how to do it. It's an awesome, awesome map, but it, it needs more tutorials because I couldn't, I, we, if it hadn't been for the community coming together, I would have been lost for a little while longer. I somewhat figured out this was a waterer. I just could not figure out how to use the cedar, like almost at all. Had it not been for the community, I would have been planning everything by hand. So I'm very grateful for that. Oh, I can kill you now. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I have a sword now. This illager has been taunting me all this time. Ah. Thank you. 
Finally, yeah, it's been taunting me, just standing there. I can now finish this whole entire field in corn. And I can do the other field in strawberries. So next video, that will be done. I'll go ahead and do that off camera. And the next video, what we'll be focusing on is choosing our next crops for the other fields. What do you guys think we should use? What should we grow? Or should we focus on maybe working on the animals next one? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you have downloaded this yourself, what type of farm are you doing? And which farm did you choose? Did you use this one that we spawned at? Or did you go and choose another one? Alright guys, keep those awesome comments going. Keep this community going. Helping one another figure out how to work things if we're having problems. Because that was really, really cool that we all came together to figure that out. Because this is an awesome map and I would hate for anyone to miss out having fun on it. Alright guys, if you're liking this series, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And I will catch you next episode. Average Arcader, out.